<laughs> Were you a working class kid growing up in Detroit? Yeah, um, my uh, grandfather worked at the Ford Rouge plant, actually, wow. uh, Polish immigrant, and then um, I learned upholstery uh, for furniture as a teenager, and then uh, uh, my parents worked for the Catholic Church, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let me ask you, do you think that trade should be taught in high school? Oh, I think it should be offered, for sure. Yeah. yeah I, w I would think it's absolutely necessary, because... It's hard to pick some of those larger ideas, you know, for college, you know, picking your entire career uh, when you're 16 years old or 17 and trying to, they're trying to mold you into a path, which is, it's good inspiration, but it's hard to, at that age, to even comprehend yeah. what's it like to be a psychiatrist or what's yeah. it like to be something that go, you know, take eight years of college or 12 years of college, where trades are, just exposure to them would be nice, plumbing, electrician, carpentry. Our high schools used to do that. Yeah. And kind of got away from it. My, my, yeah. my oldest son is 28. Well, he'll be 28 this year, but I'm like, he loves skating. I'm like, if a kid can build a skate ramp, a kid could build a room. Oh, yeah. And so I work with an organization called Georgia Youth Build, and um, they teach kids trades. So it, oh, when great. I found out that you um, were, were heavily into the trades, it inspired me more to, to oh. learn something because I don't know I do nothing. Oh, great. Well, <laughs> well, that's why yeah, my, my high school offered a, a shop, a mechanic class for working on cars, and yeah. I wish I had taken it. I could have yeah. taken it. I just didn't realize. I thought, oh, whatever. But now I don't really know enough about cars still to this day. I wish I had taken that.